CataractCoach.com, sealing of paired phaco incisions. Do you need to hydrate the astigmatic extra incision? Now, this case is showing you the combined or paired phaco incision. So the patient has steep astigmatism on the cornea at 180 against the rule. So there's the main phaco incision. The black marks show the exact precise meridian. And here's an additional incision. And we're going to make it beautifully. Both incisions are essentially identical using the same instrument, using the same technique, the same architecture. And here comes that nasal incision. Now, this incision we're making is purely for treatment of astigmatism. In this case, about 0.75 diopters. So there are the two fake incisions. You can see it's a real cataract. We'll do the surgery. And my question to you is, do we need to seal up or hydrate or do anything special to that extra incision, that one that you see there at the top of your screen, which is nasal. Now remember, the main incision which we're using now, look, we're putting forceps in it, we're gonna put balanced salt solution on a blunt cannula through it, we're gonna put the phago probe through it, we're gonna put the IA probe through it, we're gonna put the IOL injector tip through it. We're gonna use that main incision, so I get it, you gotta seal that up. But the other incision there, where you see a little bit of bleeding there at the top of your screen, we're not gonna use it at all. Its sole purpose was treatment of pre-existing corneal astigmatism. So do you need to seal it up or will it seal on its own? Now both incisions have the identical architecture made with the identical instrument, that diamond keratome. And I'm going to show you something here. We're going to do FACO here. We're going to have an infusion pressure of 95 millimeters of mercury. Yes, that high. That's like a bottle height of 120, 130. And as I operate and I chop this nucleus and wolf it down and break it into pieces, again, infusion, the pressure in the eye is 90 plus millimeters of mercury, very high, right? A normalized 15-ish or 18 or 20 maybe. But look at the blood there at the top of your screen. It's still there. Now, if that incision that we made there was leaking, you'd see that blood being washed away, but yet it's not washed away. And that's because the nature of the incision. These incisions are made in such a way that they look like a valve. So the higher the pressure is in the anterior chamber, the better that incision will seal. Now, my technician just squirted the eye and squirted off some of the, the blood there from that extra incision. But you can see here that it just does not leak. And that's because we didn't use it. The diamond keratome, or even your steel keratome, makes a beautiful, precise, sharp, clean incision that'll seal beautifully on its own. The more we use an incision, the little bit rattier the edges or the you know, sides of the incision get. So this main incision that we use a lot, we'll have to do something with it. But you can see that I touched it with a wax cell sponge, it's completely watertight. Now going in with the IA probe, again, high pressure, many times higher than the normal physiologic pressure. So here, let's say an intraocular pressure of 70 millimeters of mercury. Well, a normal eye pressure is 15, 16, 18. So this is probably like four or five times higher pressure. And look, there's no leakage from that incision. So here's the thing. You don't actually have to touch that incision. You don't have to seal it up. You don't have to hydrate it. You don't have to worry about it. If it's created properly, which it was because we saw it being created, it's going to seal beautifully. Now, the main incision, you're going to have to hydrate it at least a little bit. And that's because we've used it so much. Look how many times we've used the main incision for every step of surgery. And here comes the lens, I'll put that in the eye. And by the way, we, well, obviously we're showing you the whole cataract case here, a very efficient case, only about uh, five minutes or so. So there's the eye well going in the capsule bag, get that dialed in appropriately, let those haptics open up. And again, for removal of viscoelastic here, we're going to see no leakage from that incision. Even remember, inserting the eye well itself can very significantly raise the intraocular pressure. But yet, look. No issue at all. Going behind the lens, again, getting the eye pressure many times normal. And look at that incision that we made there at the top of your screen. No leakage at all. And I'll show you at the end of the case here. We'll check everything out to prove it to you. So if you do make a beautiful incision for astigmatic purposes, like we've done here, a paired phaco incision, and you don't use it in the whole case, guess what? It's going to seal beautifully.
and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You can check it, and let me show you. I'll check it for you. I had this video in mind as I was doing this case. I said, you know, this is a great video to show. So let me show you what we got here at the very end. Hydrate the incision. That's a beautiful case. Look, without hydrating it, that nasal incision, it's already sealed. And we knew that. So thanks for watching and take this lesson to heart. Thanks for watching these videos. And remember to go to cataractcoach.com and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you an email every day with a great video like this and other surgical pearls that'll make you a better surgeon.